A state of emergency has been declared in the eastern American state of Maryland, very close to the U.S. capital of Washington, D.C., when a major bridge in Baltimore snapped and collapsed into the sea after a massive container ship rammed into it early on Tuesday. The entire incident has been captured very dramatically on camera, the moment when that huge mammoth ship went smashing into that bridge bringing it uh, into pieces into the sea. It happened early Tuesday. Several vehicles fell into the sea below. Vehicles plunged into the Patapsco River. It was a river, I beg your pardon, very close to the sea. Baltimore is on the coast. After this ship collided into one of the bridges supporting pylons, those are the huge pillars you see. According to reports, over 20 people uh, are suspected to be missing in the river along with numerous vehicles that plunged into the river once the bridge collapsed. Vehicles plunged into the river after a Singapore-flagged container ship, the Dali, collided into one of the bridge's massive support pylons. The headlights of vehicles could be seen on the bridge as huge spans collapsed into the Patapsco River and the ship caught fire. The Baltimore City Fire Department said that the collapse was a mass casualty incident and said workers were searching for missing people. This video, as you can imagine, has gone viral on the internet. This is a huge and key bridge, one of three key bridges connecting different parts of Baltimore, a coastal port city, very commercially important in the United States. We don't, we've not been able to confirm that we actually have an active fuel spill from the vessel. Um, we've had odors of diesel fuel. The Maryland Department of the Environment is here, um, as well as the Coast Guard. So they would take leads on that as well. We hope as the sun comes up a little bit with the air assets that are up to get a much better picture. If we do have a fuel spill, what the impact has been so far. And like I said, this incident has been declared as a mass casualty incident after this container ship has collided with the Presley Scott Key Bridge, causing it to completely collapse. Many vehicles have plunged into the Patapsco River in Baltimore, and a state of emergency has now been declared in the state of Maryland. The governor of the state, Wes Moore, has declared a state of emergency due to this bridge collapse as 20-plus victims are said to be missing. A search has been started for those uh, who may be missing and in the sea, uh, in, the, in the river. There are reports of multiple cars and persons may be in the water following the collapse uh, who are still declared missing at this point of time. Nobody has been declared dead yet. We're awaiting further information. This incident is under investigation. The police has been here. Um, Foxtrot is also working this. There, there are two air resources right now. Um, I don't know that we won't bring any more in, but right now they're the two primary. Um, you know, air reconnaissance on something on the open water is just, it's an invaluable resource. And we've been very fortunate to have it because as we put people out in the dark on the water to conduct searches, they have that degree of overwatch from those assets. So it's, it's been an invaluable resource for us. We're, we're bringing in the equipment specific to the operation right now. And then even, even law enforcement agencies have a lot of the same marine ops equipment as we do. So given the incident is so big, we try to force multiply and just bring as many resources in as we can so that we can really blanket a large area for a search. All right, let's take a look at what we know so far. Remember, viewer, this is still a developing story. This happened early on Tuesday uh, in, in the United States, in Baltimore. Uh, let's tell you what we know so far, and these are all from official sources on ground in Baltimore. The ship called the Dali, which is a Singapore-flagged merchant ship, struck the bridge around 1.28 a.m. local time in Baltimore, which is on the east coast of the United States. Multiple vehicles were seen in that video falling into the water. At least 20 people, like I said, are believed to be uh, on that ship. The, the ship was flagged from Singapore. It was leaving Baltimore and heading to Sri Lanka when this collision took place with the Key Bridge, which was one of three big bridges in the port city of Baltimore. Let's go across to India today. It's Gaurav Savant, who's been uh, tracking this uh, very troubling story coming in from the United States. Gaurav, uh, the fact that this entire collision was caught on camera makes it uh, you know, doubly troubling. 
what do we know about uh, you know what may have happened in the initial minutes after this happened you know even foul play wasn't ruled out but now it appears that this was some kind of a you know an accident a runaway ship power loss on board that ship what are you hearing gorov so shift there's a team of the federal bureau of investigation that has joined the probe but the priority according to officials on ground remains search and rescue the temperature freezing yeah. minus 1 water even colder so you have coast guard with their sonars uh, they are dunking those sonars they are desperately trying to find signs of life under water remember it's been 6 hours 130 local time is uh, when the collision took place and the bridge came crashing down multiple vehicles went in including a tractor trailer sized vehicle um, some people are still feared trapped in 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 what is being now described as the debris field so you have the swift response teams and the coast guard that are inside the debris field trying to look for survivors two survivors have been uh, located and rescued so far yeah. um, as far as the investigation is concerned shiv prima facie it does appear that the ship had loss of power but moments before collision the power came on the ship incidentally was not under command of the captain of the ship but under command of the harbor pilot and mm. as you know better yes. every harbor has very experienced harbor pilots who take these giant containers out safely out to sea and then the captain takes control of the ship so harbor pilots are someone who uh, are people who know the lay of the water every inch every nook every cranny yes. and know the displacement of the ship and from where exactly should the ship be guided so initial information seems to indicate that the ship was under control of the harbor pilot when it had loss of power power came on but it just went crashing into that support pillar of the bridge and a major part of the bridge came crashing down on to the ship there was some construction work that was going on road construction work on the bridge so some construction workers are also feared missing shiv gorov uh, you know the governor of uh, maryland has declared a state of emergency which might sound alarming to many uh, you know but this is uh, in many ways standard operating procedure isn't it when a big disaster of this kind happens and considering that this is a uh, you know a, an arterial bridge carrying a lot of traffic obviously no chances are being taken and that's why emergency has been declared So shift protocol has kicked in and that is where the, the federal agencies are also now in support of the state forces so federal agencies come over then there is a nodal command and control sector uh, center that's set up and then relief and rescue operations start so that one agency is not working at cross purposes with the other agency you have the coast guard you also have the local police you also have re- neighboring regions they've sent in their police forces their uh, rescue teams their swift response teams rescue operations on because this is a race against time with people in sub zero temperature yeah. uh, uh, for over 6 hours the effort is to locate as many people as possible alive uh, easier said than done given the the kind of debris that's all along the depth is about 50 um, uh, feet in this part where the collision has taken place so uh, the effort is to be able to rescue those people who may be trapped inside cars or maybe clinging on to life in some place or the other yes. now it's daylight it's about 7:30 local time uh, so now it's easier to be able to locate people so you have, you have multiple helicopters in the sky and you have gr- ground team teams and you have teams uh, in their fast boats in the debris field trying to rescue people um, uh, in this in this developing story where casualties so when this incident took place it was around 1:30 at night so yes. not many people on the bridge that time but some people missing those who were working on the bridge those cars that were there on the bridge and of course some of the ship's crew the crew are still on board yes. as is the harbor pilot is the information that we have okay we're going to try and get an update from the ground as well bugar stay with me for just a moment longer because we also have Uh, a time lapse video of this incident remember merchant vessels don't move very fast but these are huge very very heavy vessels and that explains the kind of damage that's been done to the bridge with just a light touch uh, of that ship uh, it shows something very interesting take a look, close look at this video the ship seems to abruptly change course uh, at least from this angle before it slams into the bridge now there was no other maritime traffic or marking issues Uh, of any kind and as gorov said the ship was uh, you know under navigation by the harbor pilot uh, not the captain of the ship so was this human error 
uh, uh, on the ground by the harbor authorities in Baltimore? Or was it an equipment failure? Was it intentional? Nothing being ruled out at this point of time. But the ship was outbound uh, sailing from, uh, from uh, Baltimore uh, to Sri Lanka. So, uh, uh, Gaurav, we can confirm that as of now, no angles have been ruled out by the federal authorities. None whatsoever. The authorities haven't ruled out whether this was an error, a mechanical error, a human error or a collision uh, on purpose. That also hasn't been ruled out because a lot of details will be gone into the ship's logs, the details, what happened. If you, if you notice that time lag video once again, Shiv, and very closely... The lights, they suddenly go off and that's where it was reported that the ship had lost power and, uh, and was in a way rudderless. But moments before, uh, uh, you know, this, this massive collision, the lights come on once again and the ship changes course. Now, why did the ship change course? The tide is only coming in now. The currents are only, uh, you know, that's one of the reports that doing the rounds on currents, tides and what will it do to vehicles that are now in water or those who may be trapped um, uh, underneath. So all of that is a matter of investigation. But if you notice that video, suddenly the ship appears to change course, head straight for that uh, column and then goes and rams into it and this is a huge ship 948 foot ship uh, so all of those details uh, are being ascertained as of now under command of the harbor pilot is an indication that there were experts who were captaining the ship uh, at, the, at the bridge at that point of time because the captain takes over the ship only once it's on the high seas and once again when it enters another harbor uh, in, a, in whichever place it is the harbor pilot once again comes in and guides the port, uh, the ship safely uh, to berth it. So all of that, uh, as of now, a matter of investigation, Shiv. Okay, Gaurav, thanks very much for joining us on that story. I just want to uh, play that video once again, full frame for our viewers. All the uh, camera angles that we have so far, uh, there's, a, there's this head-on camera view that we have of the ship colliding uh, with the bridge. If you can look uh, on the bridge itself, you can see vehicles whizzing past. Uh, so even though this was late in the night, early in the morning rather, at about 1.30 a.m., there was still some traffic and that's the reason why uh, vehicles did plunge into the water as per the federal authorities. This is, of course, a speeded up video to show you the kind of damage that was done to that entire stretch of bridge. Twenty persons are said to be missing at this point of time with an unspecified number of vehicles. Uh, a drone and helicopter imagery provides also a bird's eye view of what the, the, you know, what the site of this collision looks like right now. If we can play that clip of the overhead image, that's what it looks like right now. It's early morning now in Baltimore. We'll keep you posted on this big story. State of emergency has been declared in the state of Maryland. It's a state that has a large Indian population, incidentally.